Hello and uh, welcome to uh, Let's Play Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. So, in the last episode, we uh, picked up a few recruits. Uh, Archangel being one of them, and uh, together with uh, the doctor. Actually, that was in the first. Uh, first episode but uh, yeah we picked up Archangel had a kind of a rough time actually uh, doing that mission to be honest uh, anyhow uh, before we uh... we must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay Shepard oh we don't have any fuel yet so let's uh there we go. All right, so let's uh, start by uh heading over here. Probe launched. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe away. Probe launched. So, uh, in these uh, systems here, there is a lot of uh, ESO, or element zero, as it is called. Fuel at one half capacity. Launching probe. away anomaly detected general distress beacon auto process interrupt launching probe i have found something all right let's uh land and uh see what's going on here so let's uh Use you and uh, Garrus, collector assault rifle and uh, Mantis sniper rifle. I wonder. Uh, Shotgun. Okay, so we got only got one sniper rifle so far. Okay, that's interesting. Why did I get this? Rifle? They've seen us. <clears throat> Try shooting through here. Brace yourself. Really <clears throat> down. Scratch one. Down. 
This should punch through their armor. Shake it down! Revan gonna tear you apart! Anyone else punch him? You guys get to read this, so uh, just pause if you want to read it. either intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. There we go. away. Launching probe. Detected an anomaly. Probe launched. I have found something. All right.
Yeah. So. Yeah, Navigator Presley really changed his mind in there.
Okay, four more. Where's my helmet? There we go. A nice little mammont uh, mammonto. No, that's not. Uh, and a nice little throwback at uh, Mass Effect One, and uh, some memories of uh, fallen comrades. Oh, yeah, I like it. Away. All right. Launching probe. Launching probe. We 
have exhausted our fuel supply. I will use FTL to get us to a fuel station. Probe launched. All right. There we go. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, 
You won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorites. She's a very cool character. This recruits is at 20. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought. You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All right. Let's see here. What by talking to this? Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Saren? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. There we go. And, uh... Hey, buddy. Long time no see. <laughs> And some fish. And a model. 
And another model. There we go. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. There we go. And uh, that should uh, solve some... Uh, at least one quest, I believe. Irashimasu! You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Welcome to Sauronus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see here. Damage protection. This is valuable. Reduces the recharge time of your power. Uh... Squad bonus, 20%, uh, plus 20% tech ba bonus power, okay. Now what's this? There we go. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Oh. They think every Krogan is danger. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits! Shepard, in my store! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. 
I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Aha! No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, increase uh, spare ammo capacity by 10%. That could come in handy. And uh, increase health by 5%. That's actually pretty bad. But uh, I will still grab it. Oh, this is actually a very good sniper rifle. Uh, increase shield strength. And uh, power damage. Well, I don't use any power, so... The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa has been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check vid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, let's see. Presidium. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. 
They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Consulate. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Consulate. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We've never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. 
A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. All right. Let's, uh... Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Okay, so not here. Is it, uh, up here now? There you are. This clanless is a thief. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not, just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need- It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like, <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. 
that shit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. All right. I'm Commander Shepard, and this... Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. I felt her hand go into my pocket. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. And there we go. Love that quest, especially when you uh, do it after you get reinstated as a specter. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Hmm. There we go. Pause if you want to read it. Emily Wong. Yeah, we should actually look for her.
All right, there we go. Pretty shield that soaks a huge amount of damage. Fortification. Shock seems pretty handy. Uh, shredder ammo, warp, inferno, grenade. Let's uh, go for the grenades. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. All right, and let's not forget to feed the fish between missions, otherwise they will die. Here we go. Could this one lady be? I wonder what a Presidium fish would taste like. I'm telling you, there are no fish up there. I hear an herd knock went up there once. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. 
No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. I guess not here. Look. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? in here Then I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonesy's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, Check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. What do you want? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling you. It's all he's talked about all damn day. <laughs> Let's uh, get back to the Normandy and uh, continue our mission. There we go.
Actually, it's just over an hour now, so I think I'm going to call it here. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this episode, and if you did, feel free to uh, hit the like button. And if you're new here, first of all, welcome. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy my content, then uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my episodes. I will be back again tomorrow, and until then, stay safe out there.